We do not know who Marseille Martin is. She was first introduced to us as Diane in the show Black Is. She played the sassy and strict twin daughter of Andre and Rainbow Johnson, and she quickly became a fan favorite with her sharp wit and her perfect comedic timing. But Marseille is much more than just Diane from Black Ish. This young powerhouse has gone on to become Hollywood's youngest executive producer, and she's been making waves in the industry ever since. And I think getting those accolades has a lot to do with the way that she's marketed. So let's talk about it. To talk about Marseille, we first have to talk about the elephant in the room, which is the child star phenomenon. Hollywood has a long, and let's face it, pretty troubling history when it comes to child stars. We have seen countless young adults struggle under the weight of early fame, but it's where it gets interesting. It seems like Marseille and her team seem to have studied that history, and they said, now we are doing things a bit differently. And I say that because of these few points. In an industry that often rushes to adultify young stars, especially young women of color, Marseille's team has done an amazing job of keeping her image youthful and relatable. They have managed to strike this perfect balance where she's seen as mature and professional, but still very much a teenager. Think about it. When was the last time you saw Marseille in overly mature clothing? Instead, her public appearance seemed to show her in age-appropriate outfits that are still stylish and fun. It's like they're saying, hey, she's extraordinary, but she's also just a kid living her best life. And I'm here for it because if you think about all the ways that other child stars have been adultified, it's a bit refreshing to see that her team is determined to avoid these pitfalls. And there are so many ways it seems they're doing that, which we'll cover on the next points. One thing that I absolutely, absolutely love is how the focus is on her achievements rather than her appearance. Don't get me wrong, Marseille is a beautiful young woman. She's very, very pretty. But her team doesn't seem to make that the center of attention. Instead, they seem to highlight her achievements more, her accomplishments, her intelligence, and her business acumen. Remember when she made those headlines? about becoming the youngest executive producer in Hollywood history with her film Little. I've watched Little, by the way. Have you watched it? It's actually feel good. It's a really feel good type of movie. But that's the kind of publicity that really stands out. They're just not positioning her as a pretty face or a cute kid actor. They're positioning her as a force to be reckoned with. It's like she's here, she's an actor, but she's also a mogul in the making. And speaking of mogul in the making... Let's talk about how they positioned her that way. It seems like I've already said that they, this isn't just about acting. It's about building an empire. You can see that from her production company, Genius Productions, to her nail polish line. They're showing that, you know, she's a savvy entrepreneur as well. And in an era where social media, people show, you know, themselves or the lifestyle or other things that have nothing to do with what they are selling, I think it's important that they kept highlighting on that. Now let's talk about social media. What impresses me the most, and I think that's the reason why I actually made this video, because sometimes when I scroll on TikTok, she will come on my For You page. And sometimes I look at her and I'm like, this thing very different about this young lady it seems like it's not about fame or going viral it seems like it's more about building a sustainable brand that can grow and evolve as she's growing herself the way that i look at it it looked like she wants to do this for a very long time but it's not just acting there are so many other things that she wants to do as well and in an era where many young stars find themselves in hot water due to controversial posts or oversharing, her presence online, it seems like a breath of fresh air. It's fun, it's authentic, and it's age-appropriate as well. It seems her team allows her personality to shine without crossing lines. You can see her goofing around, which she does. She shares behind the scenes, and then occasionally she can use her platform to talk about important issues. 
but it doesn't feel forced. It's not like she's been pushed in our face or being forced to us. It just feels very simple. It's like a masterclass on how to handle a teen star social media presence in this age that we're in. And as we continue to watch Marseille grow on her social media and in the public eye, it seems like there's one thing for sure. She is changing the game and she is positioning herself a bit differently for the next generation of youngsters. What do you guys think? Do you agree that Marseille's marketing is on point or do you see it differently? I believe I saw somewhere online that it's her mom that's behind her marketing. I don't know how true that is. So if you know who's behind her marketing, share it in the comments. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel. I do deep dives in the world of entertainment and marketing. So marketing and business is something that I enjoy, but I try to bring entertainment as well because that's also something I enjoy. So I bring them together. But until next time, Knowledge Sapers, make sure you share this video and like and subscribe.